So I'm going to show you how I cook my chayote. It's a little bit unorthodox, but very effective. And keeping in mind, this stuff will stain your clothes, will stick in your hands. So you might want to use some olive oil or any type of cooking oil in your hands. But before you do that, the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to use a nice uh, bread knife and I'm going to cut it here in the middle. The reason I didn't use the oil yet is because I don't want the stuff sliding from my hand. But now that I cut it in half, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in my hand so it doesn't stick. And I'm going to peel the outside and I'm going to use a peeler. I'm not even going to bother with a knife. I just using a paper. See how easy? Just peel it off. And be careful because your hands are a little bit slippery. So just peel it off. Sayote is very delicious. When I like to use it for my stews and, and things like that. And now that you peel one side, now you want to take this seed out. You can do that with a cutting knife. And actually, I can, uh, with one of these uh, little knife, and I'm taking this side out. So you cut it. You take it out. I mean, that's simple. Like the core of a um, pear or apple. See? Carefully or nicely. And then what you do, you grab a regular knife. Any type of chef knife would do. I'm going to do my Japanese one. And you cut it the way you want to cut it. If you want to do a slice, that's fine. If you want to do cubes, then you cut it in cubes. But I just want to cut it in tiny pieces. And once you do that, then you cut it the size you want. You know, if you want to cut it in tiny size, just do that. See how simple? That's simple. That's it. Now, if you want to do in bigger blocks, then you cut it, you know, bigger size, whatever you're going to use it for. That's simple. That's simple. That's it. That's it. And my stuff is not stained. It's good to go.